I assume it would come up at some point or people probably listening like why machine learning in Elixir? And I think is mm -hmm. the, because the Erlang virtual machine that Elixir runs on, you can kind of like, you know, if you have to do a lot of IO work, it's going to do that well. If you have to do a lot of concurrency work, it can use all the CPUs at the same time. It allows you to say, hey, I want to run a machine learning model. You can actually just run that machine learning model as part of your app. You don't need to like, hey, you know, I have this machine learning model. Now I have to pay like Amazon to run it for me, or I have to figure out like this right. whole other service that I have to version it separately. If you want, you don't have to, but if you want, you can right. just run it with your servers. It's going to depend a lot on what is the use case, the application, right? But at the same time, because again, like Erlang is distributed. If you say, hey, I started running with my web servers, but now the load is increasing and I want some machines with GPU, you just connect them with the distributed Erlang. So if you're running on fly, that mm -hmm. happens by default. And I will say, hey, I just want this machine learning task to happen on those machines with GPU. And you don't change anything in the code. You just say where, which part is running the machine learning model. So I think, mm. I think that's one of the... The, the exciting things. And when you say like, oh, we are small, I think it, it's one of the appeals of just allowing people to play with those ideas and embed within their apps. And, you know, and then when trouble comes, if it comes, then you can figure out what is the next step and don't have to worry about all those things up front. Right. Well, I'm definitely watching very interested.